that. That's right, they're rolling in here. Red Hot Chevrolet long beds, about a 64. It is Friday night. We're here in Buena Park, the Elks Club. It's Gary's Classic Car Show here at the Elks. Let's take a look, see what's going on through Dano Vision's eyeballs. We got this C10 right over here, 1963. It's got some wide whites on it. It's got some moon caps. It's got beauty rims. It is a Blue Flame 6, straight 6, all original. You see it's a 63. It's got driving lights on it. How cool is that? It's got a stick bed, looks like. We got rails on it. Oh, yeah. We uh, got spotlights. Hey, 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 what up? <laughs> we got we got raccoon tails or whatever. We got the music playing. Wow, look at that. We got a chest. How cool is that? Look at that bed. Is this thing dialed in? It's even got skirts. Look at that. And, of course, the six-soda. It's got twice pipes. What up with that? <laughs> Now, oh, cool. See, only at Gary's you find stuff like this. That is pretty awesome. Cool. Chevy with a six. And look at this. You got a classic 56 Ford with a post. It's all original condition. It's not been restored. Look at that. You got a column shifter. Be an automatic. You got a lower interior. Well, that's, that's not original. High back seats weren't an option back then. Neither was this motor. But anyway, the body is all original. It hasn't been updated. Looks like it's, it was found in a, in a yard somewhere in the desert. And now it's in the process of going through and making it a California hot rod. And of course, ho, ho, ho. Got a Vega Z. Let's say C27 and a half. Z27 and a half Vega. We got LS motor packed right in there. That does fit, huh? Who would ever thought? Chevy would have made these with V8s in them? Oh my god. It probably would have, well, that was a problem. It probably would have uh, outsold the Corvette. So they had to uh, put six cylinders in them. They needed to sell their same work. And that being a Corvette. So I'll turn up my uh -huh. notifications here so we don't hear the bing bing. -bi Look at that Vega. Look at the meats on that. Looks like American Mags, deep dish American Mags. Wow. Hmm. It's got a real short and narrow rear end. It gets so it gets so hot with that roll bar in there and that uh, gear shifter, that T-bar on it. You need to filter out the air out the back. Nah, not really. A blue plate California car. How about that? Then look at this. A Willys. Well, he's just popped in. It's a black plate original California car. Pretty cool how you got that front bench seat. And it's got a little quarter seat for the passenger. And I believe there's a rear seat, but it's all laid down. It's like a working Jeep. I think this might be a Willie's Overland Jeep. I'm not quite sure. I'm doing a derelicts fan. How cool is that? Then we got the Ford, the baby blue Ford pickup truck, custom long bed. It is available for sale right next to a Chevrolet. Wow. Oh, look at that. Hey, guys. Hey, 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 Pooch. You're on Dano Vision. <laughs> Let's check it out what we got here around this front row. We got some more trucks, a couple Chevy trucks here. We got a Mustang, a 56 Chevy on the end warmer now it's getting into the spring and summer months the crowd is gathering look at that we got my friend over there and we got a couple cool cars a corvette we got i think it was a dano dano uh, live uh board winner right there that uh panel four panel truck so let's see what we got i surprised gary because i told him i was going to be a good guy so i probably wasn't going to be here yeah, see, he's surprised. <laughs> I lied, okay? <laughs> How you doing, Dan? You'll see Car Guy. This be Gary you. Brown. Good to see you. A few miles on today, huh? Well, I decided that you'd be missing me, so I better get, better get my butt up here, yeah. I'm going through with drones right now. Oh, who's this? Is this Brad? 
Wow, two shows in a row, back to back. Spent a year in Utah. Yeah, especially Utah played on there. He's going to have to make a California car now. You got the wide whites, forklift motor in there. Yeah, it be moved a tan, a Kaiser. Hey, Brad, what <laughs> up? Just remember, forklifts can go anywhere. Forklifts can go anywhere, even on cruise night. How about that? <laughs> hey, look at this. We got a... All right, cool van coming in. Cool high rods, huh? Look at that, flatty. Isn't that beautiful? I like the yellow block color. Those wheels are pretty awesome, too. And it's a deuce. I think it's a 32 deuce coupe. There's a three window. And it has been narrowed a little bit. Black plate, twice pipes out the back. Bigger tires out back. Just the way it's supposed to be built. How cool is that? 56 is nice. And look at this. Another three window coupe. This piece appears to be a what, 33, 34. I should know by now. I see it every week. But I forget. And look at this, huh? Look at a couple of these hot rods. Wow, outside of that Chevy over there, we got a row of 30 to 32s, it looks like. And this yellow one's got American Mags. American Mags. American and Krager Mags, you should see in this yellow Roadster. The 56, they both have uh, American Mags. Uh, American Mags and Krager's kind of went head to head back in the day. You either got Krager's or you got American Mags. Well, it seemed like, like, see here in this Ford pickup truck here. It's got Kragers in it. So it was either Kragers or it was American Mags. That's basically your choices. We put custom wheels on your hot rod back then. Now there's all kinds of choices. We have Flame 32 Coupe. There's all kinds of choices now. What kind of wheels you can put on. And a new Corvette with Ghost Flames in it. And look at this. 63 Burb walking in here. How cool is that? Looks like it's a two-door, three-door, barn doors in the back, Burb. How about that? And, of course, this is one of the trophies here, Aguirre's. Yeah, we got five winners. I believe it's a 29. We got an Australian car here. And these be the hooligans, by the way. <laughs> the Australian car here. I think it's a Holman. It goes after a fact of like a GTO something similar and we got another 57 Bel Air post see that's got the Krager mags on it blue with a silver top we got a brand new 4 F series rolling in F-150 <laughs> and they brought a lot of luck because they always win their apples but look at this box Nova listen to this roll in got the American mags how about that yeah whoa look at that gauge is all lit up in there Woo! is that a Hot rod or whoa? Yeah. Back to this right hand driver Australian muscle car. 350 cubies. There it is. Here's your right hand drive. Bucket seats. Automatic. Looks like BM shifter. Two pedal. I know how to fix my cars. Now you got this Ranchero GTA wheels on it. Look at this. And what are we doing? We're pushing pedals and pulling gears on this, huh? There's three pedals. Air conditioning underneath the dash. Bucket seats, console, cup holder added on. Because this year, classic cars didn't have cup holders. They got a nice tonneau cover on it. And that thing's a 289 underneath the hood, sporting twice pipes. A Purple Heart Vietnam veteran. How cool is this? Ranchero. Doesn't say, but I'm thinking it's a 289. Cool, we got the it's wrapped around in Radio TA BF Goodriches. And look at this. You got both both doors up on this hood. A Ford, not sure what year, it might be a 29. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I can't read the card from here. Look at that, huh? Four cylinders, look like brand new 
They look like champion plugs, I'm not sure. The four cylinder in line for what's the year on it? 31. Yeah. Interior looks to be original velour. Plenty of leg room back there. You sat right against the back. Vietnam veterans, got even a rack on the back, spare tire. Out of Florida, Sunshine State, 1931. And without that, you don't get to that. You gotta build that before that even can happen. Uh, look at this, we got a Lancer, a Coronet Lancer. It's gotta be a Dodge Coronet Lancer. It's gotta be about a 57. Looks like original found, just like this. Sitting in some field, rotting away, wide whites, hubcaps, looks like original hubcaps. I gotta check it out. And yeah, they, there was no column shifter. There was no four speeds or three speeds. But right there, push button automatic. We got the new drive, Courtney Hanson, a new drive covered magazine. That dash is pretty awesome, huh? And look at that, plenty of room back there for a two door. Nice original seats it looks like. Mirrors a little far out to adjust. But look at that, sporting. Sporting a 392 Hemi, huh? Mm. Oh, wait a minute, look at Country Sky or Ford pulling in with Prager SS mags on it. <coughs> and here it is, it's a 56. I said 57, it's 315 cubic inch Hemi. But you know it has a it, it has a fins on them like a uh, 57 Chevy, and they were kind of manufactured. I think uh, the engineers were sleeping with one another in the different divisions, different uh, competitors, because they seem to design the cars similar way. And I got a 70 Reno launch. And we got here, yeah, we got a Galaxy XL. Got his movie movie speaker, driving movie speaker on there. Pumping out some oldies. Galaxy 500 XL. Then we got this Woody. Looks to be about a 47 fat fender Woody. Wide, wide hood caps. And look at that. Etzel drop top. How oh, about that? Wide, wide caps. Hmm. Let's see what else we got. Let's take the walk. See from the back end, we'll do some turning and tossing. Get to the front end, cut the squire, dual exhaust. As long as I got a 352 in it. Hmm, what do you think? There we got Brad, Brad Gasson's Kaiser Bermuda Tan, two tone. It always says you got a forklift motor in it. Look at that, huh? Looks like a three speed column shifter. It goes right down in first gear right now. Awesome dash, old school dash, interior. Brad is like brand new. That's that forklift motor. Read it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cylinders. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yep. Yeah. Piece there. Yep. There won't be another one in here today. And you correct on that. Yeah. Brad's got the only one. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty car. Four doors. You and your buddies get in and out real quick. And back here, this long bed Chevrolet pick em up truck. Look at this Mercury. Four doors. Seat six people. There's even got some pedals and gears, real hot rods. Pushing pedals, pulling gears, huh? Yes. Yeah. Like the old days. Like the old days, and uh, usually you wouldn't see uh, that kind of tranny in a four door, but this Mercury is equipped with it. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Yeah, how about this? That's cool. 
Yeah. I've had a lot of fun with this. I bet. Now, what's the cubes on this? Is this uh, 350. 350? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's got me. No, actually, this one's uh, we, we, this one's board 40, so that comes out to about 355, 56 inches. All right. Cool. Well, that's some uh, some uh, carburetor there. I wonder, uh, that's the car. That's the jet. That's what they Quad came with. Okay. That's what this particular Chevy came with. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. I like the color too. That's 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 the right, that's the correct color. For yeah. Too. And looking down the side, it's nice and straight. Beautiful. It's basically pretty unmolested when I got it. Yeah. It was a whole whiskey jacks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice piece. Yep. Very, very nice. Thank you. What year? 52. 52, okay. 52 Merc. All right. Wow. Look at this old timer right here. Be about a 35, 36 Chevy, maybe, maybe newer. And going around the front end of it, it's got a old school bed cap on it. Look at that, twice mirrors. Huh. J and A restoration, 1935, 1948. Look at that, Chevrolet. Got eyebrows on the headlights. I like how this is nice and like rounded. Okay, fellas, what do we do? Do we leave it like that? Or do we restore it? That's pretty cool this way. What do we got here? Now you see right here, that's a flashlight accessory cool and then you got the, the gear shift three on the tree three on the fly cool J and A restoration that is pretty cool yeah. and here's this Nova that came in here with all the noise wow look at the heads on this yeah Ooh. Yeah, you jump right in there and work on it. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of pollution bull crap there yes. nowadays, huh? That's it. Yep. I believe it's a 66, <coughs> 67. Box Nova. <coughs> Racing seats. Five point harnesses. Keep you locked in. Look at that dash. <laughs> MSD ignition inside the glove box. A lot of little gauges and a lot of big gauges. That's nice, American Mags. I like the color. Got a fuel cell on the back. Uh, battery back there also. Kind of balance that weight out. Uh, and that's cool. And look what we got here. BW pulling in. Look at this. These are nice, huh? The bomb. Wide whites. The rear windows roll down. Yeah, you got a floor shifter. Wow. How cool is this? That's nice, huh? That's pretty cool. Whoa. By two rows. I think this was, uh, not mistaken, I think this was Daniel Sweetest Ride last week. Can't remember. But it is a Pantera. It's got pedals and gears. It's got a gated shift pattern to it. You got wide ass meats on the back, deep dish wheels. Got the fan back here to keep it cooler. 
tranny in the back end, and look at that right behind your back. A lot of horsepower. I believe a 351 Cleveland is what they put in them. I'm not sure what kind of horsepower. It's probably been pumped out anyway. Uh, you can't recline that seat. It's right up against the rear bay. And you got this big reservoir to brakes, stop the brakes, battery sitting up front. Yeah. It's done in red, rest me red color, fender flare flared out. The driving lights is down low to the ground. How cool is that? Huh? Made in Italy. They didn't sell very well when they came out. And look at this, huh? Wow. Hooligans. Look at that award winning hooligan. Look at that. Look at that rear end and narrow differential. Yeah, huh? How fun this must be to drive. Look at that. Big old meat stop the back too. Man, I like the Chevy right here. Two-door Chevy wide, whites, hubcaps. Three speed, probably a six cylinder, three pedals, three on the tree. Yeah, old school dash is really nice. Seats are awesome. You sit six people in here, three up front, three in the back. Ooh, it is a deluxe. Hello. Look at this. A yellow plate. California issued. That is sweet. Ah, look, oh, what do we have here? Yeah, a Volkswagen. It appears to be a 69 Woody Volkswagen. How can that be? Got a surfboard up back, up top rather. Yeah. Wow, got wood on the body. It's got a different back end to it. Pedals and gears. Woo Look at that. Who knew? See, Southern California. Gary's Elks Club Classic Car Cruise Night. Look at these. What up? There he is. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Good. Yeah. Good. Look at this, huh? I know. Woody. A Woody Volkswagen. Yep. With a Continental kit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. <coughs> I don't think they came out of Germany like that. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Surfboard and all. Not a longboard. It is a surfboard. Hmm. <laughs> wow. I think you're going to have to add another trove like most unusual class. And we got the 40 flame Ford. Nice bucket seats, leather, front and rear. The late model column, tilt wheel, automatic on the floor. And there's your, there's your flames. There you have it. Got Toyota. Look at the Toyota 4Runner. And a 55 Bel Air. And Gary's Sport Van. It's not a Corvair, it's a Sport Van. So that's that's our take on this edition of Gary's Classic Car Show here in Buena Park, California. Every Friday night, 4 to 8. Probably the best raffle and any weekly car show this and his Tuesday night Gary's classic car show at Carl Jr. Always strong, always a lot of money, always good prizes, always a lot of fun. I'm Dan Dano Vision here 
with the OC car guy right there with blue shirt, that'd be Gary Brown at the Elks Club, Point of Park, California. Don't forget, subscribe, share the video, tell your friends, subscribe to the Daniel Dan Live channel, and let's see if we can get the 3 million views and up to this is about 6,000 subscribers. I need your help. Please help. Remember, real hot rods, got pedals and gears.